Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. I'm over here working on Salty once again. April actually came over to help me film an unboxing of this part right here. And based on the thumbnail and title, you probably know what it is. So let's go ahead and jump into opening this thing up. Let's check this thing out. This part right here is something that I've always wanted to put in a build like this, a turbo build. I think these look awesome when they're mounted up in the engine bay and we finally have one. This is actually a 3,000 horsepower unit, even though we're not gonna make that, just because of some extra cooling. That thing is awesome. It is not light. She's got a little weight to her. But this is a 3,000 horsepower, what they consider high ram intake style air to water intercooler. And I've been kind of planning, I think that this is gonna be the jam for the front of Salty. So I'm gonna get this thing kind of positioned differently. I already got a bar sitting in there. We will try to set this in there and see how it looks. I'm hoping that I ordered a small radiator. This will probably end up tucking up a little bit more, but I kind of have it just sitting in here. Put this bar in here, so hopefully I can set it in there. The biggest thing that I gotta hope for is that the front of the engine and the harmonic balancer would normally be right here right in line with about where I cut off for the tube front end. And then the front of like where the water pump is on the block, minus the water pump is right here. So pretty much anything can't be passed about the frame rails right there. So I'm gonna grab that thing, I'm gonna step up in here and we'll see if, uh, see if it kind of fits. But I kind of want to open this thing up and get a full look at it. There we go. So this thing is pretty awesome looking. It's all rounded on the top. Got the big 3,000 horsepower uh, brick in there. I almost went with the 2,000s, but it was only a little bit smaller. That's what I was measuring in the last video. And what we were talking about is the efficiency. So there's events like LS Fest where you gotta do three back-to-back -back passes. So the 3,000 would be more efficient as the ice and water start to melt in the intercooler. So doing more of the drag and drive type stuff with multiple passes back-to-back -to -back, back. This thing should help us cool even better. There's a couple little mounts up here on the front too. That's what I'll have to mount to. Something else that I did on this deal was I went with three HD Vibrant clamps. So it's kind of like the Wigan style O-ring clamp deal. So this has all three of those. So then it has a little bit of movement because I'm hoping the turbos are gonna kind of hang out down there. Because I'm trying to put the turbos right here is what I'm hoping for. Real short pipe into this and then out of this up to the intake got a really sick intake setup coming for this thing i'll show you guys that later but i'm gonna go ahead and try to slap this thing in there now all right you hold this unit it's heavy don't drop it no not drop it got it for a second curl over got it so much for removing all the weight i know this is the only kind of bad part about going to air to water so i'm gonna grab the grab the little camera ski so my thought is, and I think it's gonna work out real, real nice. This does something just like that. And we got plenty of room. We probably still have two or three inches, which the balancer would be here, water pump about here. What I'm gonna end up doing is having an intake tube that comes up to an intake situation up in about this height. So it's pretty tall. So now I can rotate this up until I can get a nice, like probably just a 45 in there. So this gives you guys kinda an idea of what I've been working on, thinking of, but I think that this is gonna be really nice. The only thing, I guess, you might need to space it back a little bit for radiator fans and stuff like that, or I could always try to put them on the outside if it's gonna stay kind of real tight. So they can be pushers, but otherwise, we're looking something right about in there. Man, that almost works really good. It sits right flat like that. That would be right equal with the bottom part of the frame rail, so it's protected. Uh, I was talking to Ron at Shearfab, and he thinks that actually by rotating this up a little bit more, it helps with the water and the gravity and everything else. I believe that we run the line in on this side and then it exits here to go back to the ice water tank in the back of the car. So we're looking something right in there. I think we're gonna have plenty of room. Man, it just fits so well. I think it's gonna be awesome. And then if I can hopefully put the turbo outlet right here and just some sort of kind of small something like this <laughs> and then same here 
Then these, the more I rotate this, the more the pipes come into the car, but if the turbo can sit somewhere in here, so there might even have to be a slight little, or maybe I wanna rotate it back a little bit more to where it slides that up. So we got some things to play with, but otherwise that's the general idea for the intercooler for the car. So like April said, it kind of sucks for having to add weight back to it, but I wanted to go air to water. We run air to water on the Buick, we run two single 1000s, works so good. We can run C16, we can run pump gas on the street, super drivable, not messing with methanol and leaky injectors and shoot up lines and all that type of crap. Uh, this is set up that you can pretty much jump in the car year round, fire it up, go drive it and not really have to worry about the fuel that's in it. I hated the E for that. It made me not want to drive it on cold days. It made me not want to mess with it. Uh, so this is kind of the give and take of that. And this thing should be super efficient and work super well for the setup that we have going right here. I actually just received pictures. I'm not going to show you guys yet of the long block assembled. So we're, we're making progress. Things are starting, are starting to come together. And uh, yeah, speed yeah. it up, huh? Yeah. So February is coming time. quick, but you guys can kind of see that it'll start start flowing again. I did work on more of the metal and then the rear firewall bulkhead sitting in there. I still got to mount it, but working on all the metal work kind of back there, getting that finished up from what you guys saw in the last video. But there you guys can see it. That's where all the magic should come out of and help us make all the horse torques. Man, I'm, I'm freaking excited. So actually it sits in there so good, I was able to hop out and uh, I think it tucks up just super nice. I might have to rotate it back just a little bit. It's a little aggressive on the angle, but like I said, it's gonna have a pretty tall intake on it. So that might not actually be too bad. It might rotate back just a, just a hair or something like that. But I like the way that it tucks in there with the radiator. It makes me nervous letting it sit there like that. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I think it's really impressive because I love the welds. She was just talking about how nice. She's like, is this all machine weld? And I said, no, I think they, they hand weld the whole thing and it is super, super nice it's piece. It's really nice. When you're able to recognize that quality. <laughs> yeah. So these, like I said, this is one of the pieces that I've always wanted to put on a car. I've like seen cars with the intercooler mounted up front by the engine. And a guy in the last video mentioned like, are you worried about condensation? We've never really worried about it before, but I mean, I'm sure it will sweat some. So worst case scenario, I'll coat it with some of the same stuff. I'm gonna coat the rear ice fuel tank and all that stuff and the uh, inner side of the car because it is actually like a ceramic style coating that helps keep in the heat so and not sweat so bad and all that stuff. It worked really good on the fuel tank in the Buick. So I think uh, as big as the box was and as big as I thought it was gonna be for the 3000, I think we're looking really, really pretty sweet. So I went ahead and unboxed a couple of the HD clamps, give you guys an idea. So it's kind of this clamp here with a sleeve inside of it. And then this welds onto that tube. Got one down here as well. They're double O-ring, which allows for a little bit of flex and all that type of stuff in there. Not a ton once you get both O-rings in, but kind of gives you guys an idea. Just a little bit of movement there that it will allow. April's coming back with some ice. Thank so you. I forgot to take a thumbnail, so we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> so looking at it a little bit more and the height for where the hood's gonna come down i already have a little washer underneath it but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna need to just kind of lean it back just a little bit and then it'll clear the hood pretty nice but i know i'm gonna have to cut either way through the hood i just don't want to cut the hood like if it's right here i don't want to cut this through the hood I would like for this to be under the hood and then just pipe coming out of it to go up to the intake. So that'll be it. I just want to show you guys the new intercooler. I thought it was cool enough to make a whole video about showing it, kind of mocking up and giving you guys an idea of where my idea is going with this whole setup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.